Alright, response video to the morality video by the amazing atheist. Um, I'm not going to play the video 20 minutes. A lot of bullshit, um, you know, game playing, uh, emotional shit, um, and not just absolute nonsense. I mean, really. Um, again, with the Timothy McVeigh stuff, he's acting out of a, a moral code. And I don't even know what the point of bringing him up was. I mean, the fact that human beings, individual human beings, can have um, notions of right and wrong that are complete bullshit, that aren't based on anything rational or reasonable. Yeah, um, it, and then that's the whole problem um, in terms of doing this society thing. That's why anarchy won't work, is because the individuals won't do anything cohesively. They'll all have different standards of value, and they will attempt to impose their standards on each other. I mean, he ends the video with some kind of um, babble about some kind of utopia where we can all be alphas, we can all be, you know, um, we, we can all live by our own code. And somehow that won't, we won't be we won't be stepping on each other's toes all over the fucking place. It's like we can all somehow be the baron, and there won't have to be any peasants. And <laughs> you know, it's just it's just complete bullshit, nonsense, mush. Um, but yeah, just to even bring up McVeigh as if there's some comparison, you know, and that's all he was doing it for for that purpose was to diminish the value of all morality. So. Why, why didn't you juxtapose, uh, you know, uh, Martin Luther King and Timothy McVeigh? That would have been a much fair demonstration of your theory. Uh, let, let's see you make those the same thing. Let, let's see you make the words, um, you know, judge a man based on the content of his character, not the color of his skin. Let's take that phrase, and then let's take Timothy McVeigh's, oh, I didn't know there was kids in that building. Uh, yeah, let's put those two things next to each other. You know, or let's take McVeigh's notion that somehow uh, the government was um, too aggressive in, in Waco. You know, it only took six months. Six months it played games with those fucking lunatics with their gasoline all over the goddamn place. Months. They waited months, okay, <laughs> to, to, to find a, a resolution, and then they fucked it all up, okay? On a windy day, the whole thing went out of control. You know they didn't intend for that to happen. So it's just fucking silly. What happened in Ruby Ridge? Again, was it anything to do with intention? So it just obviously didn't have anything to do with morality because it wasn't an intentional act. Timothy McVeigh intended to kill innocent people. He intended to, to, to destroy lives. Uh, it, there's no intent in any of the individuals that were functioning on behalf of the government in either Ruby Ridge or in Waco that has anything to do with intent. So it's just an idiotic comparison. It's, it's meaningless. It's mush. Uh, you don't you don't judge accidents the same way you do uh, malicious intentional acts, moron. Um, so anyway, um, so anyway, he, he, you know, is he taking a serious subject? And, and, and again, even to use the word morality is kind of silly for an atheist. I mean, atheists should be way past that word because that word is just layered or, or just just so attached to the dogmatic um, mandates, okay? And so he uses a couple of examples of, of you know, religious morality that's just imbecilic, the, the prohibitions against eating pork and the rest of it. And it's, yeah, it's just plain silly morality. But the golden rule is not silly morality. Um, it's a, a necessary foundation of social structure, the idea that you have to be careful not to trespass on somebody else's um, welfare to uh, secure your gain, your benefit, whatever it is that you're after. You can't extract it from somebody else's welfare. That's a very fundamental, sensible, rational, logical, um, ethical notion, idea, theory, an ethical theory. So why don't you talk about ethical theory and fuck this morality word because that just fucks the conversation. That's, and, and again, he uses the word at the end. He uses the word soul, you know, like, you know, the, the child molester has a, a, an, un, an unappreciated soul. The soul of the poor soul of the child molester isn't being properly released to, to, to gain its full satisfaction in this horrible society that requires people to take responsibility for their actions and to somehow be more productive than destructive, uh, to cause more comfort than suffering.
And uh, so then he, made, then he brought up bacteria. And, and he sits there and uses the, this, the, the, this minor social network that exists among bacteria that isn't even, to use the word social network is to pervert language again. All right? <laughs> they, are, they are as socially connected as my finger is connected to my wrist. It is not a society. It is not a thinking device. It is not a structure of any kind of integrity. It's a merely a chemical bond. Uh, it's a material bond. And, and that's all it is. It's crude as crude could fucking be. And what we're talking about is conceptual ideas, which is about as sophisticated as you can get uh, in terms of finding the true context of relationship, uh, the, the true nuance and meaning of relationship. Uh, and so to compare those two things, a thinking man and a, the chemistry of a bacteria, and put them in somehow they're in the same category of, of uh, uh, integrity, is just complete crap. Uh, through 10,000 years of discovering what the world is made out of, human beings have, have, have progressed substantially. Uh, so there's no point in showing images of the Middle Ages anymore, because we don't do that shit anymore. Because we figured out it's not fucking good, okay? Tribal and gang warfare and this individualism crap is just that crap, <laughs> okay? Um, we need a social structure which requires us to have um, a law. Um, you, no point in calling it a morality, but uh, there are rules of civilization. And so that, that, that's going to demand from us a, an obligation. Uh, and it has nothing to do with necessarily right and wrong. It just has to do with the necessities of providing a, 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 an arena for where, where we can play the game, where we don't nuke each other. And so that was part of even the crimes of the, t of, of, uh, the Waco and, and of Ruby Ridge, was that these people didn't want to pay their dues to civilization. That they thought they had a right to have their own army and their own their own militia, their own munitions, their own capacity to cause mayhem, and uh, their own power. And so it's about their grasp for power, not the government's power, um, because they would, they would imbalance the equation. Uh, we all can't walk around with bazookas and the right to use them. That's just not practical. And uh, it's, it's foolish for people not to be able to pay these minor prices to civilization. Uh, and they are minor. <laughs> They're minuscule goddamn fucking prices you have to pay. Uh, it's little minor suspensions of your liberty to go out and hurt somebody or kill their dog or do whatever the fuck you want or piss on their cat. Yeah, there's little rules that say you can't do certain things that hurt other people because we figured out that hurting other sentient creatures is the ball game. Unlike bacteria, they don't have to worry about that. They don't need morality. They don't need ethics. <laughs> because there's nothing of value in their universe, you idiot. They don't have a value equation. They have no conception of value. Uh, so they don't have an equation. It's not morality. It's just practicality. Consumption and reproduction. And you'd sit there and say, you deny us all our intelligence, all our logic, all our capacity to reason. You throw it all in the goddamn toilet and say we should just think like a bacterium, that we should just reduce it to consumption and reproduction, and that should be our morality. Well, that's deifying a DNA molecule then. That's deifying <laughs> nature. So you're the worst kind of religious fanatical nut. Um, the only thing that's worth deifying, the only thing worth respecting, is perfect bits of logic and reason little objective factoids, like it is honorable, respectable, logical, and decent to judge a man based on the content of his character and not the co color of his skin. <laughs> That's a factoid that we can write in motherfucking stone. Um, and uh, <laughs> it's just that fucking simple. And uh, we have the faculty to figure that shit out. And we've had people throughout history that have helped us figure out some of this stuff and gotten us to a point where we're not barbarians anymore. We're not bacterium anymore. We can do a hell of a lot better than wolves. Um, you know, we don't have to be owned by psychology and conditioning. We can be owned by our higher ideals. That's, uh, if, if, if humanity has something you want to value or call a soul, that should be the soul, is the intelligence of a human being. 
the capacity to appreciate the beauty of efficiency and the beauty of um, sensitivity and appreciation. And you'd barf on all of that because you'd just sit there and say it's all based on a, a bacterium's capacity to understand. <laughs> you know, I can understand a lot more than a bacterium asshole. And I can understand more than a wolf. I can understand more than any fucking animal existing in that crude nature out there. Um, because I have a brain. And I know how to use it. And unfortunately, you're you uh, only understand intelligence as a scheming tool. So the only place you can derive an understanding of morality is from your own selfish feelings. What do you 